careful. Stop running. Careful one after the other. Careful. Careful. Good morning. Don't fall, don't fall. Hello, Svetlana. So, did you learn the poem? We've studied it all night long. I don't know if she remembers anything. Business as usual. Okay, darling. I see you in the evening. Behave well, don't fool around. Understand? Okay, bye. Run. Goodbye. Goodbye, Svetlana. Hello, sunshine. Let's go and play, and then you'll recite me the poem. Okay? Where are you going? Let me in. Go further. Come on. I have to go. Where are you going? Let me through. Miss. Have you gone crazy there? Sorry, won't happen again. <laughs> what happened? I felt badly. Shall I call an ambulance? No, no, I'm good. Really? Yeah, sure. Maybe I can drive you somewhere. I have a car. There's no need to, really. I'll get there myself. Don't jump in front of the car anymore. Thank you. Stay safe. You too. Yeah. Hi, sister. I hope you didn't forget to bring Kirill's photos. I don't understand what you're talking about. I asked you to bring Kirill's childhood photos. I'm planning a surprise for his birthday. What's with your voice? Did you fail the job interview already? Oh my god. I'm late. Let's... Let's meet up at two in the cafe near your office. Bye. Following your heart. Episode 1. OVR BUD Construction Company. Yeah? Hello. I'm sorry I'm late. Have a seat. Come on. Have a seat. I'm sorry. <sighs> You've got lucky. We've got preliminary interview today. And the boss will make the verdict. We're looking to get him a personal secretary for a leg. Got it. Please, read my references. They are very good. I'm responsible and... Po oh, really? What? You wanted to say bang to all. Are you all right? My head hurts a bit. It will be fine. Fine. We're all people. It happens. You definitely have great references. Why did you leave your earlier workplace? There were big problems with the schedule. I often had to work overtime. Oh. And I have a daughter. She goes to kindergarten and I'm raising her alone, so... I get it, yeah. I get it, I do. Having a daughter is great. Our children are the flowers of our life, as they say. You'll be all right, Svetlana. You don't fit us. Shame. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. Goodbye.
It's you? It's you. How are you feeling? It's okay. It's you who saved me. I just helped you. I'm so grateful. Svetlana Krushovska, CV. Oh, you were here for an interview? Yes, I was. And what did they say to you? That I don't fit. Vlad said so. Yeah, he did. May I, uh... Hmm? Urine. Like that? Like that? What do you mean? Are you the seal? Yes. Let's go. I'll show you to the HR department. Does your head hurt? No, it's fine, thanks. That's good. a salad for you as usual or do you want something more serious no 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 a salad would be enough thanks i mean can you believe it in the ovrbud as a secretary yep it's not a big step you know that i want you to do something bigger but i congratulate you on finally having a job thank you not everybody in our family should be a metal manager <laughs> thank you what else happened to you? You are lit up like a light bulb. I almost got hit by a car in the morning. You can't live without adventures. But this brave man saved me. Who is this brave man? It's a long story. And when I came to the interview, we met again there. Can you believe it? I can't. Does the superhero have a name? Alec. Does he have a ring on his finger? He doesn't. Better if you don't talk about it. No, we will. Not every man jumps in front of a car for a woman. I recommend that you take a good look as an elder sister. Stop it. By the way, I didn't forget Kirillas photos. I'm surprised. I want to make a cool photo album for Kirilla's birthday. Well done! Oleg. Good morning. Hello. Listen, I've selected three candidates for you for the position of your personal secretary. Tell me when you decide and I'll process it. Well, cut them. Okay. Who exactly? All three of them. What do you mean? I found myself a secretary. What do you mean you found him? Or like you assigned me to do it? Consider it as a reduction of your workload. I was busy and forgot to tell you yesterday. Okay. Here is the list of those who can be connected right away. Um... And here is Oleg's schedule for the next month. And here are the papers for him to sign. Okay. Not everything's dated here. Should I act according to the circumstances? Yes, exactly. Your job is to remind about it, and Oleg will decide himself. Any questions? And who's she? She was the last one at the yesterday's interview. Oh, you feel real? With the bad head and the child in the kindergarten? She's wonderful. Thanks a lot for your help. I just want to ask you, why did you quit? Don't you know? No. Uh, well, actually, Oleg, Oleg proposed to me. And I agreed very soon. Congratulations. 
Oleg, you don't need her. Listen to me. Let me pick a normal secretary. Let me worry about that. Hello, Kola. I hired her. She starts today. Whatever you say, boss. What's with the state's power connection? Call the electricians. They are stalling. Yes, it will be done. Be happy. Thank you. Oh, you are already here. Good morning. Good morning. Honey, hmm? I'm going to the wedding salon for a test fit, and then I want to meet with my friends. I will choose the maid of honor and invite her personally at the same time. Fine. I'll pick up Lara from school and talk to her today. Honey, just be gentle with her. Okay? I'll try. Bye, Svetlana. Good luck. Thanks. Well, have a nice first day on the job. Svetlana, make my favorite tea. Ira told you the recipe, I hope. Yes, of course. Right away. This math teacher really pisses me off. Who needs math? Nobody studies her damn theorems. I don't know, I did. We need math. You just need to cheat less, Toporkova. By the way, when will we'll go for a drive? Maybe tomorrow. Are you driving around somewhere? We haven't done it yet. I'm not asking you. Kirillo, listen. When will drive your parents' car, huh? Not very soon. So you chickened out, yeah? For example, I can take the keys without asking. Or do you think mom gives me the keys herself? Here, son, go for a drive like that? Listen, I don't need any more trouble with my parents. Oh, I get it. Just say that you're chickened out. You're just wussing out, yeah? Screw you. Yep, that's all. And you're coming. No, Kirillo, I'm serious. If you're not afraid of going for a drive, come tomorrow. You know the place. Is it that hard for you? Your parents are at work until evening. Yep, I'll think about it. Clinical Psychiatrist Hospital Number One. Yeah? Hello, it's me. Hello, Vlad. Without names, please. I asked you. Prepare everything for tomorrow. Will do. Just don't forget the money. I won't. Okay, bye. Why aren't you eating? Come on, eat. It's so tasty. I would eat this all day. Me too. Elera. I really want to talk with you, but I don't know how to start. It's about serious stuff? More serious than ever. I get it. Is it about Ira? Yes, it's about Ira. I've proposed to her. I asked her to marry me. Whoa. And she? Did she agree? She agreed. Would you mind if... you'll get a... new mom? Understand, I want you to get it right, and I'm very afraid that I'll hurt you. Daddy, I want you to be happy so much. It's okay, go and get married. Really? 
Yeah. Always consult with me, Daddy, okay? I like it a lot. Okay, deal. Let's play the Who Eats It First. Come on. Nice. Let's go. How do you feel? Good. Great. Hello, neighbor. Hello, girls. Hi, Dasha. Are you after college or after a side job? After a side job. I'm terribly hungry. Maybe you'll come over for dumplings? What dumplings, Denise? I have homemade soup. You come over. Homemade soup? It's a deal. Then I'll come over for a homemade soup, okay? We are waiting for you then. Be fast because we're hungry. Come in. Albert. What? I've got a report. And I've got a son. Talk to him. Yep. How are things at school, son? It's okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And how about the grades? They're okay. Mm -hmm. How's the math? It's okay, too. Mm -hmm. Well done. Dad, may I take your car for a spin? I'll be careful. Mm-hmm. What? You've taught me yourself, and I'm a good driver. I taught you for the future. I'll give it to you when you'll be 18. But that's one more year. Kirillo, that's right. It's dangerous even at 18. Dad, maybe you'll change your mind. I told you. No. Kirill, you are not eating well. You don't like it? Come on, I made you favorite cheesecakes. Sour cream, tea. I'm full. Albert. Hmm? Son, what's wrong? To come up with something like this? Take for a spin? Albert, come on, eat. Did you find a date for blood? Of course I did. Did you doubt me? Not me. It wasn't hurt. One of my childhood friends. We grew up together. She is a great bridesmaid. I've talked with Lyra. She's happy that she'll have a new mom. Really? She's wonderful. Who would doubt that? It's very important for me. For me too. Family first. Yeah. It's a shame that your mom will miss the wedding. It's a shame for me, too. I told you it will be difficult for her to go across half of the country, but it's okay, I'll show her the photos later. We'll do that, and I'll finally meet her. By the way, as your former business assistant, you have a scheduled meeting in two hours. Did you forget it? I did. Yes, Svetlana? Of course, I know I have the meeting. Goodbye. It's the new girl? Yep. Quick learner. I hope we'll have time to pick the rings. Actually, I hope to spend half a day here. Yeah, we have 15 minutes. You won't give your bride the time to enjoy the moment? 14, 55, 54, 53, 52. Stop it, you! Stop it! 50.
Mom? Bob? Dad? through all the papers. There's clean according to the law. If the head lawyer says that, I have no further questions. We'll start working with the supplier and we need to prepare a financing plan. Like we have trouble with the water company at the object at the market. But we've solved everything. Vlad, did you take care of this? Yeah. I was told about this an hour ago. I've tried to find you, but... But what? Winners look for opportunities, losers look for excuses. You didn't try hard enough. I'll fix this, Selek. Fine. Thanks, meeting's over. Vlad, stay for a bit. You didn't change your mind. What are you talking about? Oh, about being the best man. Listen, I can't. I'm sorry. What do you mean? It's a joke. <laughs> What's the bridesmaid? Some girlfriend of yours. Pretty? Pretty. That's it then. It's a deal. We'll party like there's no tomorrow. And how's that? Well, you know me. Role-playing games, superhero costumes and... Like, I'm joking. You feel for it again. I just want to say that I play for Kips without giveaway, so I won't give away bright shoes, so warn the guests, okay? Okay, I'm going to the objects, uh, the market. I'll see what the problem is. Give me the money if you're beating on someone. How much? A hundred apiece. Not too greedy. Okay. Put it on Kirilla. Put it on Alex. My Alex will handle your career just like that. We'll see. How many laps? We can start with three. Purely for voices. Kirillo, you're in luck. Someone placed a bet on you. <sighs> Toparkova, come on. Maybe you'll strap in? You can leave. As you wish.
Alex! Alex! Come on! Woohoo! Kirillo! Oh. Is he breathing? I don't know. I told him to strap in. Idiots, why are you standing around calling ambulance? Hello? Hello? Yes. Southwestern Highway. A guy, 16 year old, crashed on the track. Yes, we're waiting. Housing estate deliveries take half a day. That's a disaster. We have to account the road congestion. Kirillo. I'm sorry. Who will pay the drivers for night shifts? Kirillo. I'm sorry. Let's calculate what's better for us. Overpay the drivers or lose the clients. Let's think about it. Diana, now you. Is the counterpart a report to trading? Yes, of course. Here you go. I'm sorry, it's my son. Can I answer? Just do it fast. Kirill, what happened? You know, I'm busy if I didn't pick up. I'm at a meeting right now. This is the paramedic. Are you Kirill Dmitriev's mother? Yes. He crashed. We're taking him to the third municipal. Kirilla did what? Hello? Diana, are we going to work today or not? Hello? Hello? I'd like to hear your report if you're okay with it. Kirilla. What Kirilla? He crashed. Albert. Albert. Can you hear me? I'm going to the third hospital right now. Yeah. I'm waiting. Please drop everything. Him. To the operating room. You can go here. Just wait. My God. Why aren't you leaving? I have to finish some stuff, and I'll leave then. Send me tomorrow's schedule while you're at it. Will do. Yeah. By the way, I wanted to congratulate you with the future wedding. Oh, thank you. Did Ira tell you? You are a good man. A real and courageous one. I hope so. Ira thinks so too. I'm sure of it. I wish you love and happiness. Thanks. Likewise. I'm happy that you work here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't do it today. I can do it tomorrow. My son was in an accident. Yeah, goodbye. How is he? Did you see him? He really... He's already in surgery, yeah? A second surgery team went in there. I can't live without him. Diana, stop it. Come on. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Letter W waves to everybody. Wanda. Wally, and the water starts with the W. Mom, did you hear me at all? I'm sorry, I've wondered. Did you want to ask me something? When I'll move to my room, do you remember that you said so? 
If your Aunt Diana won't be against it, then... Be patient. You'll grow up, and we'll move here. I'm growing and growing, and still I'm too small. Don't get distracted. Keep reading. What's the next letter? The letter X. Xenon, Xerox, Xylophone. Kirillo. Kirillo. Where are you taking our boy? Calm down. He's going to the ICU. Come tomorrow. Your son will be sleeping until morning. Tell me, has the danger passed? We'd like to know the truth. I'd like to make you happy, but alas. Your son has a closed craniocerebral injury and closed chest trauma. They're already dangerous on their own, but together... Good grief. Tell me what is needed from us. Looking at the symptoms, he has an extensive subdural hematoma that led to paralysis. Paralysis? At this stage, a CT scan is needed. That's it so far. And that's it? Wait, what about the drugs, the treatment? I'll be frank. The survival rate for these injuries is 50%. My God. Everything will be decided in the nearest three to five days. If hematoma won't dissolve during this period, you need to prepare for a difficult and expensive surgery. For our son. Please do everything you need. Just tell us what is, what is the amount in a question. I want us to be happy so much, Mom. This is on you, Albert. You told him to drive in the country. It will come in handy, did it? I was totally against it, totally. So what now? Yeah, it's on me. What now? I need to beat myself up? By the way, I also taught him to use his head. You did a poor job. A bad one. Where can we get that much money? I called the bus. So she'll help out. But she can't lend it. I don't know where to get it either. Maybe at work, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I know where we can get the money. But I don't want to do this. Are you about... Yeah. We'll need to deal with Svetlana. Did I wake you up? Hello, of course not. Come in. Sorry, I've got the crowd fritters in the pan. Something happened. Svetlana, I'm in trouble. What is it? Kirilla crushed. What? He took our car for a spin. They've started a race in the country. 
Karis totaled. He miraculously survived. And what a nightmare. How is he now? We need an expensive treatment. And we need money urgently. I... I have decided to sell my house of the apartment. I understand that this is our inheritance. I never thought I'd sell it, but... But I need to save my child. I came to you. I know that you are tight on money, but maybe you'll think of something of how you can pay me. I asked around. It's $20,000 at the least. I don't have that kind of money. I don't even know where to get it. You know, I don't... I don't even know who can lend it. I'm sorry. I thought so. I thought so. I need to save my son. I'm sorry. Please, keep me posted. Hello, Aunt Diana. Why didn't Aunt Diana respond to you? Kirilla got into the hospital. Go wash up. We'll have breakfast now. Why aren't you picking up? Hello. Playing poker again? Maybe that's not your business. Maybe you'll not get cocky. Got it? Got it. Give it to me. Here you go, take it. I'm afraid of this stuff. Tell me if you'll need to up the concentration. Okay. What's okay? Give me the dough. There you go. As agreed. Listen, it's not enough. Maybe you'll throw in some more? This business is risky. All the risks are accounted for, Sirora. I'm paying you maximum. Don't be mad. I'm not mad. Vlad, I'm just talking. When should the client be expected? When he'll be ready. Hold your horses. See ya. See ya, Vlad. It's not working. What shall we do? I've told you. Quick deals are only done for much less money. But then we won't have the full amount for Kirilla's treatment. That's what I'm talking about. Well, this... Uh, consent. Who knew about it? What were you thinking about, Diana? I told you, people sell apartments for months. Did you call your job? Did you ask them? What did they say to you? I've asked. They told me they'll maybe help. They'll call me. Oh, by the way, wait. It's from Job. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. What? I'll be there. Albert. What? It was my boss. Damn. Tax office didn't accept my report. Do you understand that I can get fired? I found a way out of the situation. We can speed up the procedure. Okay, now. Okay, cinnamon. Cinnamon. Svetlana? Bill. What's this? Cinnamon? Yes. Isn't that for a leg? Yes. He's a cinnamon lover here. That's right. Okay, okay. Please make the copies of these documents. Okay, I will take the tea first and... You didn't get it. It's urgent. Tea is urgent too. Please make the copies to each and fast. Fine. The faster you do it, the sooner you'll get it. Share your recipe. Thank you. 
<laughs> Take the papers. I'm sorry. It was an accident, I'm sorry. Be careful. Put the photo back. I'm sorry. Take the papers. Take the papers and leave. Why are you screaming at me? Just take the papers and go. I told you to get the papers. There's nothing difficult about it. Just take the papers and get out of here. I got it. Get out. Don't scream at me, please. Don't ever touch this portrait. Get the papers and get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Never touch that photo! Buy out. Let's go with the agency. We need money urgently. And they can sell it for months. Let's just find out the terms. Yeah, yeah, but quickly. Shall I call them, yeah? I'll do it. Okay. Let's just find out what they're offering. The choices. Okay. Hello? Hi, I'm calling you about the Edward. Tell me, would you buy a half of an apartment? The address? 34 Tretia Fabrichna Street. 34 Tretia Fabrichna Street. Yes, it's near the five stories. I'll wait for you in the yard. See you soon. So what? He will be there in half an hour. So fast? This is a scam. No, I don't think so. He sounded serious. A businessman, middle-aged. Yeah? But I can't be there in half an hour, understand? I need to go to work or I'll be fired. Go there then. I can handle it alone. I only need to show the apartment. Albert. Call me. Goodbye. Call me. Following your heart. Episode 2. Did I call you? Are you Yano? In the flesh. And you? Diana. Okay, Diana. Hello. Diana. Yeah, the yard has seen better days. And the building has some years. Which floor is the apartment on? On the second one. This is the entrance, yes? Yes. Don't worry. We have a well-maintained staircase. The house was reconstructed recently and the roof is new, so don't worry. I'm not worrying. We'll make a deal if the apartment fits. Shall we proceed with the viewing? Yes, please. Let's go. Is he in? Yes. Svetlana? Did something happen? I don't know what's with him. I don't understand. I came to pick up the paperwork. He asked me. I accidentally touched the portrait with his daughter and probably ex-wife. I don't know. And he started screaming, screaming horribly, started tearing up the documents, throwing them, throwing things, kicked me out screaming. I don't understand what I did wrong. If this portrait can be touched, he could have told me so. It's okay. It's okay. Quiet, Svetlana. Get a hold of yourself. It happens to him often. Why? Okay, I'll tell you. You have to work with him, so you have to know. Three years ago, Oleg's wife died in a car accident. Yeah. Semi driver had a heart attack at the wheel. His truck got out of control, went onto the incoming. Oleg and Vika noticed it 
when it was too late. Vika died instantly, and the Lex stayed alive. Since then, he has outbursts of anger, strange behavior. Well, it's not pleasant. Now I get it. Yeah. So, please don't be mad at him. Just don't pay attention to him. Yeah, I got it. It's nothing personal. I got it. Well done. I'd better stop by later. I don't want to get caught in the crossfire. Goodbye. You're doing great. Please come in. Oh. The ceilings are 320. Yeah. And the walls are thick here. It's warm. They don't build like this anymore. Yeah, yeah. There will be no problems with the neighbors. Only my sister and her daughter live here. Mm -hmm. So, only the sister and her daughter? Yeah. And that's mine? Yeah. No locks? No. It's okay. We'll install them. Whoa. So, how much do you want? $25,000. Or the equivalent in the exchange rate. $25,000. $25,000. It would be twenty-five grand only if the place was loaded. It's twenty at the most. Okay, I'll try to sell it via agency. They can sell it for a bigger price. Diana, Diana, you will be selling it via agency for a long time. And for the same price, and they'll rip you off big time with their rates. Twenty thousand dollars? And we will make it very quickly. Yes. Also, I can give you a deposit, right now, with your signature. And there's a nuance. Well? I don't have notarized consent from my sister. That's... Not a problem. We'll fix this. Who do you need? I'm looking for Svetlana Krasovska. That's me. Okay. That's for you. Sign here, please. What is this? I don't know. Who sent this? The sender is unknown. Weird. Here you go. Okay. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Open it. Svetlana, I beg you to forgive me. I know I was horrible. I don't know why, but it happens sometimes. I want you to accept this humble gift from me as a small compensation. It's a uh, rhinestone, a gem of all girls named Svetlana. I can't take it. I'm sorry, you shouldn't. It's okay, you just didn't have to. But... I'll be frank. I don't know, maybe your colleagues already told you, but three years ago I lost my wife, Vika. I couldn't save her. Occasionally, I repeat the situation in my head, and uh, when I saw you there on the road, I came back to that day three years ago, back to my wife to that crosswalk. And I got a chance to change the outcome. And you saved me. Yes, and I felt better, so you are... special for me. Accept this humble gift and let's not get back to this. You also got hurt in that accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that the attacks are connected with this, yeah. It happens sometimes, but lately more often. You'll deal with it. You're a strong person. Thank you.
That's it. Dasha is sleeping. Tell me how it is. So, she's in a parallel course? Yes. In a parallel group, so you are the same age, right? Yes. Okay, and? I don't know, what can I say? Somehow I don't get it. I'm speechless when she's around. Words always disappear somewhere. Listen, I want to disappear somewhere in moments like this. It's clear with you. What? You fell in love? You need to act. How? Oh. Well, ask her out. You need to understand your odds. Who is what? Tell me. How are you doing? So? I also like someone. My boss. Boss? He is so sincere, so real. But he is getting married tomorrow. Come on. Yeah. I thought I met a lonely prince, but it turned out that the prince's spot is occupied. That happens. Yeah. So you saying I should ask her out, yeah? Mm -hmm. now let's look what we have. Well, her temperature fell for almost a degree. That's it? It's fine, I can go to your wedding. No, no, dear. This is out of the question. It's okay, we brought down her fever, but she'll need to lay down for a bit. Just for one day, okay? So I won't go to the wedding? Looks like it. Thanks a lot. Somebody will walk you out downstairs. Okay, have a nice day. We'll have to call your nanny. It won't work. She has a day off today. She said that she'll spend the day out of town. Maybe I can come with you after all. Fine. Svetlana, sorry for bothering you. Yes, look, I'm listening. I understand that it does not sound right, but can you spend your Saturday with my daughter? Lyra has fever, and uh, I have a wedding in the registry office in two hours. I got it. Yes, fine, I agree. Thank you very much. I'm sending a card to you. Nasha. Can you stay with Denise until evening, okay? You'll finish the elephant there, and he'll put on cartoons for you, okay? Only if we spend the whole day together tomorrow. I promise. But, Dad... Sveta is my colleague. She's very nice. You'll get along with her. I'm not here. I really, really wanted to be at your wedding. My darling. Let's make a deal. I'll ask one of the guests, and they'll film the whole wedding online. That's something. Notary, Smorinova OL. I'm begging you. Please, don't hurt my sister, okay? Live peacefully. Come on, you. Don't worry, we'll hit it off. Thanks. Thank you. The keys? Oh. Oh, sorry. I forgot about it. Sorry. Here. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. Well, you see, 
Thank God. We are saved. The main thing is that this money is enough for treatment. Okay, let's go to the hospital. Dear Alec and Irina, I pronounce you husband and wife. And as a sign of internal love and unbreakable family bond, I ask you to exchange rings. And now a kiss. 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 Lara, I love you. Don't be bored. What is That's it. It was pretty. And this is my mom, Vika. Wow, she looks a lot like Ira. I like Ira, but she is not my mom, and she'll never become her. I just want my dad to be happy. I miss my mommy so much. I love her so much. I understand you. You know, I lost my mom early, too. I was raised by my dad and my grandma. Well... Isn't it bad without mom? It is. If it is so, do you want to be my friend, Aunt Svetlana? Of course I do. But only if you won't call me Aunt. Just Svetlana. Mm -hmm. Then I will tell you a terrible secret. I really don't like it when Dad comes home from work. Because Dad starts screaming, and I'm very afraid of his screams. Maybe he'll get better when he'll get married. Let's hope so. Do you know that your dad experienced severe trauma? That's why he behaves like that. Mm-hmm. I get it. Do you know what he promised me? That we'll go to the ice rink on Tuesday. You like ice skating? I love it. I loved it too when I was a girl. Great. Maybe someday we'll skate together. You, me, and that. That's unlikely. Why? What are you and I going to do? Mm. There. Do you want to meet my toys? Okay. Come on. How was your day? It was good. Your elephant is so pretty. Did Denise help you sculpt? Yep. Denise fed me, and then he showed me magic tricks, and then you came. Denise is so great. And I met a girl. Her name is Lyra. She is my boss daughter. Such a great girl. Cool. Come on, eat. Hello. I rang the bell on purpose because I didn't want to scare you. I'm Janif. What are you doing here? Who are you? Where did you get the keys from my apartment? I'm calling the police. Oh, oh chill out. I live here now. Didn't Diana tell you? About what? About the fact that she sold me her half of the apartment. I... It can't be. I don't believe you. Me too. I agree with you. They'll scam you without blushing in these times. Here, you're literate, you can read. Here's the name, the address of the seller. What last name is there? Yanyev. Exactly. My God. Just one second, I have to call my sister. That's your business. You deal with it. I'll go in. What are you doing? Where are you going? Into my half of the living space. My God. 
Svetlana, can you get your stuff out? I'll go and take a shower, okay? What are you going to do? Take a shower. This is too much. What do you think you're doing? You just came in. I have to understand what's happening. Easy, easy. Now you and I share everything. Except rooms. You get it, right? Okay, I'll wash my hands. How is she? Her fever is down. It's okay. This is from worrying in the morning. Poor girl. She didn't get to her own father's wedding. Aliak, I'll never forget this day. You're my husband. I can't believe it. Well, then I'll have to prove it. Quiet! Oh, hello, Svetlana. And we just rang the doorbell. Well, I was stuck at work. There's a backlog. Hello, Dasha. Of course. I wanted to ask you to keep my documents at your place for a while. Yeah. I don't get it. Why? These are mine and Dasha's. I don't want to keep them in the apartment. Fine. I'll put them in the wardrobe. It's like bank, you know. Thank you. Can I ask you to watch Dasha for an hour? No problem, Svetlana. We'll finish the medical encyclopedia with Dasha. Good luck. Dasha, behave well, listen to Denise. I'll pick you up in an hour. Bye. Goodbye. Svetlana, did something happen? I'll tell you later. I need to talk with someone urgently. Bye. Fine. Hello, come in. I'm just making soup for Kirilla in the hospital. Diana. Why did you do it? Why didn't you? I thought that you'll loan the money from someone, that you'll think of something. I told you clearly. We had nowhere to get it. Why were you in such a hurry? I could have, I don't know, paying installments. I could have thought of something. For how long? For 20 years. What do you mean I was in a hurry? My child is in ICU. Do you get it? You're a mother too. Put yourself in my place. What would you do? I get it or I don't. That's it. I hope he recovers. I don't know what's gonna happen to my child. Will he be healthy? Will he be able to walk? What did you come here to accuse me of? You're crazy. Darling, I am sorry you waited for a long time. I have another request for you. And the whole world under your feet is not enough? I appreciate it a lot, by the way. Don't plan anything on Tuesday. It's Katya's birthday. I promised we'll be there. The start at 5. I got it. I'm keeping the Tuesday night free. Dad! Where are you going? Take me with you. I don't have the fever anymore. Actually, today we are having a romantic dinner with Dad. You're with the nanny today. That's why I had her came in on Saturday. Lyra, today it's just me and Dad. Understand? Okay. Hey. Did you take offense? You're still sick. You can go out. It doesn't matter. I should be happy for you. And I'm happy. Come here. 
You're so grown up. You understand everything. Let me go. Let's go. The faster we die, the faster we get back. Okay, come in. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat? No, Denise fried me some eggs with ketchup. God, how terrible. Oh, the neighbors are here. Come in, let's get acquainted. Take your shoes off. What do you think you're doing? Who the hell are you? Who am I? I'm a successful businessman. And also an entertainer. Yeah. Nobody's bored when I'm around. Really? Yeah. Where do you keep the salt? Hold on. Well, I won't be around for long if you're gonna be smart. What does it mean? What does it mean? You'll buy out your sister's share at double the price, and we'll go our separate ways. I can't do it at a normal price, so... You can do it now. You can. I'll give you such an incentive. You'll think about it day and night. That's my business. The apartment department. Did you hear about it? I did not. You did now. What? You'll buy the apartment out at a double the price, and that's it. There won't be a discount. Mom, what's going on? We'll see. Let's go. We'll have dinner in our room. What about... Yeah. Yeah, it's very important. Thank you. Thank you. Dad! Dad! What? Why aren't you asking me how my day at school went? Lara, you see, Dad's solving business matters. You've been solving them before, but you always ask me. Hey, don't be mad at me, okay? Okay. I'll be better. We'll see if that's gonna happen. Hello, Vlad. Are you at the office? Come see me. Hello? Hello. Hey, boss. What's happening? I'll tell you about it. Svetlana, please watch my daughter. Behave yourself. Hello. Hi, Sveta. How are you? Why are you so sad? Um, because of many things. Do you want me to make you hot chocolate? Yes, please. Go have a seat, it's coming right up. At least I'll have one good thing today. So, this big trade holding is going to build a new hypermarket. And they're looking for a reliable construction company. Decision for construction was made today. So our competitors don't know about it. Exactly. But that's very important information. I want you to handle this business. Okay, boss. So put all your current affairs on hold. Already done. And where do you want me to start? Contact Holdings Relevant Department first. Find out the details. Okay. We need to see their vision for value of the contract and the terms. Already on it. Just keep it a secret, okay? Yesterday, I wanted to go out with Dad and Ira, but Dad told me that I need to get better first. But that was an excuse because today I was sent to school. You think that Dad doesn't give you enough attention? Of course. I wanted to go out with them so much, but they didn't take me with them. Told me it's only for two. And when Dad came back, he came to me only for a minute. Wished me a good night, and that's it. Didn't even sit near me. Didn't hug me or give me a kiss. Yeah, I get you. Does she bother you? No, no, everything's fine. Darling, another couple of calls and we'll go home, okay? Thank you. 
He only has Ira in his head. Don't be so harsh on your dad. Everything will fix itself in time. You'll see. I hope so. Mom, it's not opening. I can't even put it in. Maybe you'll try the other side. I know who did it. Yanev! Well, hello, neighbor. What happened? What did you do to the lock? Oh, the lock. I changed it. The old one didn't work well at all. Why didn't you warn me? Where are the new keys? The keys? Oh. Here they are. You can buy them from me. At triple the price. What? Buy them? That's okay, I don't mind. Listen, the washing machine... What's with it? What have you done to the washing machine? Okay, Dasha, take your shoes off and go to your room, okay? What have you done to it? I disconnected it. It flooded the kitchen. What do you mean by flooded? It happened, I don't know. Maybe the drum rusted to... You broke it on purpose. Did I need to? You didn't have the right to touch it. How will I do the laundry now? I don't know, with your hands, just like the old times. What do you think you're doing? What's with this harassment? Dasha, get dressed. I'll take you to Dinius. <sighs> Hello. I need to press charges against my neighbor. He harasses me and my daughter. You can file a statement. The district officer will come by in a couple of days. He'll sort it out. Wait, what do you mean in a couple of days? Are you mocking me? I need it today, exactly today, because he crosses all the lines. It's unbearable. Understand? You never change the place. It's tasty and cheap here. Do you want something? No, thank you. Maybe later. I'm on business and not empty-handed. And what's that? A great scoop. A large trade holding is going to build a brand new hypermarket. And they need construction contractors. Serious and reliable ones. And? I checked the information. We can intercept the contract from Oleg, and I'll delay the negotiations from a start. No. Yeah, that's a serious object. For sure, I work in the right place for a reason. But these are only crumbs from Alex's table, and I'm tired of eating crumbs. His company has sky-high turnover, unlike mine. I want more. Do you understand? I need more. You should eat something. Really. Alena, give us menu. There will be more. There will be. I'm working on it. I don't get it. Is something wrong? You got everything. Here, take it. Your complaints are understood, but I can't help you at all. Mr. Yanev has all his documents in order. He had the right of change of faulty lock, just as he could disconnect the broken washing machine. But you see that he does everything on purpose. I see it. But were there any physical violence from Yanov? No. Or any threats to you or your daughter? There wasn't. So what are the problems? There are big ones. He is an apartment conman. <laughs> okay. Yanov is the rightful co-owner of the apartment, just as you are. 
I would recommend you to find common ground. Have a nice day. You're a feasty one, neighbor. Even called the fuzz. I'm protecting myself and my daughter. <laughs> And you won't get anything because I know my rights as the owner. Believe me, it's only the beginning. Stop intimidating me. I'm not intimidating you. Come on, I'm just offering you to buy out my share of the apartment at double the price or sell yours at third of the value. What the hell are you offering me? I don't even want to hear about it. Get used to it. It's your new reality. Nonsense. I'll make your life unbearable. Believe me. You have two choices, and I'm on top, and both. Dad, do you remember? Today we are going to the ice rink. Sugar, of course I remember. Darling, I think you won't be able to today. We have plans tonight. Today's Tuesday. Yes. Your friend's birthday. We had an agreement. Did, but we'll go. We also had an agreement. Oleg, we are adults. We have to be at the birthday at five. And you'll go to the ice rink on any other day. Lera, I can't. Let's go another day. Dad, no. No. You promised me. I'll pick you up from school after classes, then we're going to my work, and after you're sitting at home with the nanny, I'll meet you at five near the restaurant. No, it's not fair! It's not fair! Not a word more about it. Why are you like that, Dad? Thank you. Lera, sit here and wait for me, okay? Hello, Alex. I'm here. No, and don't connect me with nobody for half an hour. I have to deal with my current affairs. Okay. Well, hello. Do you want some hot chocolate? I don't. Tell me what happened. Remember when Dad promised to go to the city ice rink? Well, that's today. But we won't go. Dad changed his mind because of Ira. What do you mean, change his mind? I remember how badly you were waiting for this. I really did. But he's going to some aunt's birthday with Ira. I'm so frustrated. You I understand. You're my only friend that I can talk to. It's a shame Dad doesn't understand it. He promised. Wait for me here. I'll be back in a moment. Yeah? Alec, I have to talk with you about Lyra. I'm listening. Sorry that I barged in to talk with you about all that, but I can't keep quiet. Thing is, I also have a five-year-old daughter, and if I'll promise her something and won't do it, then it would be very hard to regain her trust, almost impossible. I don't understand. Are these precepts about the ice rink? It's not about the ice rink. It's just that your promises should not differ with your actions. Understand? Don't you think that you're going too far? Maybe. I'm at your side. It's just... Larry is worried that you're paying her much less attention than before the wedding. You can't even imagine how much he's worried. I'm sorry. I just couldn't help but say it. I'm sorry.
Era, plans have changed. No, you have to understand that I'm not only a husband, but a loving father too. Lyra, have I ever let you down? No, Dad. And I won't let you down today. We're going to the ice rink. Yeah? Hooray! Thanks, Daddy. Daddy. You need to follow your heart, right? That's right. Dad, can I take my best friend, too? And who's that? Svetlana, will you go with us? I do. I don't know. Really? Why not? We'll pick up your daughter from the kindergarten. Will it be interesting for her? She likes things like this, yeah. So agree? And what about your wife? Well... She refused to go to the ice rink. She has another event. So what? Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Thanks a lot for agreeing to spend time with us. Yeah. It's just that everything went by so fast. That's right. If we have another opportunity to skate, I promise I'll fall less. You'll be proud of me. Dasha, come here. Goodbye, my dear. Thank you. Svetlana! Svetlana! Thanks for everything! Dasha, goodbye! Goodbye. Sasha, take Lara home. Nanny's waiting there. And I'll go greet the birthday girl. Then you're free. I told you that it starts at 5 p.m. It's 9 right now. Sasha, wait! And I'm not going to go back there. People there are celebrating for several hours. But I was... I'm sorry. I couldn't get here any sooner. I don't like your tone. And I don't like your behavior. We don't understand each other. Let's go home.
Miss, I'm sorry. These are for you. Svetlana, I wanted to thank you again for yesterday's talk and yesterday's night. I definitely missed something in a relationship with my daughter. You're welcome. I'm a father, but it's hard for me to figure it out, and you, you and Lyra found common ground. Lyra is an amazing child, a thinker. And you're friends with her? Best friends. Cool. Liera, hello. Where is Nanny? She was supposed to pick me up. I decided to do it myself. Shall we talk? Frankly speaking, I don't really want to. What if I tell you I was wrong and that I'm very sorry? Really? Mm-hmm. And I have a gift for you as a peace offering. What are you waiting for? Open it. Wow! Oh, wow! Great! They're so pretty! Well, peace? Peace. I want everything in our family to be good. And we never fought. I want this too. Let's take a selfie. To remember, did you like the gift? I really did. Okay, smile. By the way, will you teach me how to ice skate? You can't imagine that. It's nothing. Of course I will teach you. Jump in. Like that. Following your heart. Episode 3. Hello, is Oleg in? Yes, the meeting has ended. Make me a latte with cinnamon. Yura? Hello. Hello. Darling, please forgive me. I made up with Lyra. I hope that you'll forgive me too. You went to her school? Yes. I picked her up, drove her home, and gave her ice skates. Lyra promised to teach me how to skate. Well, there is peace between us again. Look how happy she is. A happy camper. Ira, you don't even know how happy I am. I understand that it's hard for you to find common ground with her, but I truly want you to become a real mom for her. I promise.
Oleg. Where's Ira? She already went home. She. I wanted to chat with her. Tell me, how's the hypermarket construction? How are the negotiations going? It's better, like. I wanted to tell you this in the morning, not to spoil the mood. Well, first they delayed the documents, and then they called in an hour and said that they have a new general contractor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who? We were first. Yes, we were first. I don't know who is it. Not yet. Find out. Fine. Find out, Vlad. We can't allow ourselves to throw away properties like those. Okay, I'll find out. Go and find out. Why are you screaming? I am going already. Drink some water. Vlad! Vlad. I'm going, I'm going. Oleg, let me walk you home. Don't. What do you want? Help yourself. Let me walk you home. Help yourself. Help yourself. Don't help me. Help yourself. Help yourself. Yesterday, I had an attack again. Even worse than usual. Yes, I know. Me and Lyra saw that. I didn't want to start the conversation myself. <clears throat> Remember when we talked about your attacks? Mm -hmm. I found out who do you need to talk to. Here. They say he's one of the best neurologists in the city. You know, I don't like going to the doctors. Maybe it will somehow go away on its own? For sure. Whatever you say, it's your decision. But it's not a joke. Mm -hmm. Now we are a family, and I'm worried about you. It hurts me to see how you behave yourself during these attacks. The main thing is not that I and the employees see it, it's that Lyra sees it. Understand? I'll arrange a meeting today. Sometimes something comes over me, some uncontrollable rage and a sharp headache. How much can you control uh, yourself during the attack? Can you remember the things you've done? I used to manage somehow before, but now the attacks became more frequent and uh, I lose control. Okay. More details. Tell me about what happens to you. Describe your feelings. It's always the same thing. 
I fall into some abyss. Darkness and uh, flashes of reality. Then I break through, it's letting me go. So that's how it is. Yeah. And what's next? I try to remember, but only the fragments come up. And it's so excruciating. Yeah. Things that happen to you are alarming. You'll need to go through a full medical examination. Tell me, do you have a person that can be trusted to manage the business in case of serious exacerbation of the illness? Is it that bad? I don't want to exaggerate, but you have a progressing disease of unknown origin. You told about a car accident. Maybe some parts of the brain are damaged due to the trauma received. One day, you can just fall into this abyss and never get out of it again. Do you understand? I do. Hmm? Yeah, listening? Svetlana, this is Angelina from the real estate agency. Yes, I recognized you. Listening. There is a married couple who got interested in your property. Can you show it to them this evening? Yes, I think that's somewhere around seven. Is he in? Yes. I will be able to go there, so yeah, thanks. Goodbye. Oleg, hmm? do you have a minute? Yeah, come in. I found out who's gonna build the hypermarket. Who? Company of someone named Ochotsky. Ochotsky. It's not the first contract that he got right from under our noses. Yeah, that's right. He is a sharp guy. Looks like he has his own people and the holding. Someone leaks the information to him. Okay, I don't like this. You hold your horses for the moment. I've got a plan. What if we make a move and offer a partnership? No. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, Alek. Don't go into denial. I learned something. Ochotsky company, sure, it's small, but it's on a rise right now. They have a lot of orders. They're low on working capital and support, but that's not it. I learned that Ochotsky is not against negotiating the cooperation with a larger company, one like ours. And if we offer him that, he will not just agree. He'll be happy. Partnership implies reliability and trust. That's right, exactly. We'll set up a meeting. You'll figure him out, what kind of animal is he, and I will give the word to our lawyers to come up with options of potential partnership. What do you say? Do you know each other? Who, we? Yes. <laughs> You're joking. Am I? We've never crossed paths. You're lobbying him too much. Who's lobbying a leg? Wait, are you suspecting me? I just don't want to lose the contract. That's stupid. Fine. I've heard you, and I will think about it. That's it. Okay. I'll go to see the properties. Yermashov VS, Private Eye. Yermashov, this is Oleg Romashevsky. Remember me? I need to meet you. No, today. It's urgent. Hello, Dasha. Hello. I repent. I got held up at class. I'm ready to receive any punishment. What did you want to ask me? There's a good man who lost his wife in a car accident three years ago. And after this, 
he started having these attacks. Well, he's screaming at everybody, loses his temper, behaves aggressively, inadequately. That's weird. Is it the lonely prince who married another in the end? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to help a person. Maybe you'll tell me of some drugs, I don't know, sedatives. You want me to do it like that? Just write him up a treatment plan in absentia? You can do that. Well, if you get me his medical file with a folder full of tests, biochemistry, blood work and the like, then yeah, maybe I can help. Where can I get all that? So stop making it up, Svetlana. You can't help him with his attacks, understand? I'm a hundred percent sure that he has someone to go with all that. Yeah? Yeah, Dasha? Here, take a candy. There you go. That's it. I have to go. <sighs> well, let's go home. Are you cold? Come on. Vera. Yeah? What is it? Read it. Power of attorney for managing your estate. I had it done today. Your name is in it. Why? I was at the doctor's. If something happens to me or I get worse, I want you to lead the company and to take care of my daughter. I'm sorry, but I only trust you. Vlad raises a lot of doubts lately. Alek, I appreciate your trust, but I think you shouldn't have done this. No, I should have. I want to take care of my health seriously. I'll handle my business, undergo a medical examination, and uh, I'll finally figure out where my attacks are coming from and how to treat them. Darling, we'll get through everything together. Thank you. I need to go on very important business. The planning here is great. Look over here is the bathroom. Look at this great kitchen. A wonderful and warm apartment. Oh. And I'm thinking, what all the hubbub in here? These are the new bars, yeah? It's not your business. Go away, please. No, it is. I just want to deal with the living space. Listen up. Don't go to the kitchen on weekends. Cook in your room. And why is that? You know, kid, I meet with my boys here on weekends. You know, here and there, talking about life to the sounds of the music. Are your friends musicians? <laughs> no. But they're creative professionals. Have you heard the hijacking? Oh my god, what's this? Why are you interfering? Go away, please. Okay, okay, okay. I have great friends. Let's see the room. No, thanks a lot. <laughs> Goodbye. Svetlana, I'm sorry, but I'm removing your property from the catalog. No one sane will deal with your neighbor. I get it. What shall I do? How do I know what to do? You had to think who you moved into the apartment? Where was your sister looking? You can see criminal written on his head. And you have a nice day, too. So? I want to know if the construction company owner Ahotsky and my deputy Vlad Pratko are connected. I need the full data. You'll have it.
So what? Did you boss figure something out? Not yet. We're going into the second phase. On behalf of Oleg, I gave a task to the law department to prepare several options about the potential partnership between the companies. I mean yours and ours. Let the lawyer think that Oleg is interested in your business. And as soon as we asked him from management, we'll conduct the merger. Well? That's not everything. Oleg's share will be washed out by the authorized capital, and he'll lose the vote right. So basically, he'll lose the management. And then it's peaches and cream. In a couple of months, go through with a dozen of fake mergers and bingo. Yeah, this sounds good. You know for how long. I dreamed for a really large business. And when does the stage start? It already did. I need a wick. And then it's the merger. Good job. Well, to success. Svetlana? Hello. Kirillas Hospital is nearby. I decided to see you. How's him? No changes yet. We are waiting for the bruising to dissolve. Understood. And how are you? Did you find common ground with the neighbor? No, I didn't. He has an apartment common and wants to kick me and dash out. Svetlana, stop it. You're disappointed that I sold my share of the apartment, but understand me, I couldn't do anything else. Fine. I understand you. You speak that with such tone. You know you are the source of all your problems. You are not fit for life. You can live peacefully with a neighbor. You couldn't keep Dasha's father. He was a good man. Stop it. You know that he cheated on me. So what? Why should I constantly put myself into your position and you should ignore mine? You know, live just how you like it. Make your own decisions. I'm not helping you anymore. I understand your grief, but that doesn't give you a right to talk to me like that. Stop blaming me for everything. I'm not your punching bag. You started talking like this, Svetlana. You changed. Not without your help. How was your day at the school? It was good. When we'll go to the ice rink? I want to use the new ice skates and teach you. Look. Look. Maybe we'll go this weekend. I can't do it this weekend. And the next one is booked too. Svetlana would definitely go if I asked her. She also likes ice skating a lot. How do you know what she likes? I know, because Svetlana was at the city ice rink with me and Dad, and she wasn't alone, but she was with her daughter Dasha. We had so much fun. No way Svetlana was with you. Yes, we are real friends with her. Wow. Now you and me will become real friends. Mm -hmm. what do You'll you see. Uh, um, Alec has already gone out on business. I was looking for you all over the office. Why? Because you need to stop intruding into my family. I've already got my hands full with Lara, and you are pouring more gas onto my fire. I'm not pouring anything. No way. Then why does Lara tell me how it's fun and cool to ice skate with her best friend Svetlana? I'm her new mom, not you. And stop beating my husband and child against me. I'm not pitting anyone. You do. Okay, I got it. I hope so. 
I don't understand at all why Oleg hurt you. Insolent buck. What did you say? Are you slow to get it? Pretty girl. You said it's an urgent call. Did you find something, or were my suspicions wrong? No, you weren't wrong. Legally, Vlad and Ochotsky aren't connected. But actually, they've known each other for a long time. When Vlad was seven, Ochotsky came into his mother's life. He basically became Vlad's stepdad. So that's how it is. Your Vlad's mother and Ochotsky lived in a civil marriage for about five years. Then they split up, but Ochotsky continued that communication. He treated him like a son. Looks like he does the same now. Vlad did an internship at Ochotsky's company when he was very young. That's how he got into construction business. Then he went over to a larger company and finally got to your business. Here's all the data. Well, this explains a lot. Thank you. What's so urgent? Did you see what time is it? Oleg, can it wait until tomorrow? You lied to me. What? All this time you've been lying to me. I know who Ochotsky is to you. You know him since childhood. I'm sure his company was snatching our contracts due to your insights. Vlad. Vlad. You're leaking the information. Nonsense. And don't touch my childhood. Got it? My childhood doesn't concern you. It doesn't matter at all. That was a long time ago. We haven't talked for a long time. You saw each other yesterday. You were spying on me. Tomorrow, you're transferring your business and getting the hell out of here. You're fired. Wait, Alec. Beat it! We need to meet urgently. I need a triple dose for tomorrow. Yes, you got me right. There's no time. Everything needs to be done fast. Tomorrow, at our place. statement first. Please, doodle with me. I'll write the statement and we'll doodle. What statement is it? It's for my release. Are you quitting your job? Yes.
Sasha, come here tomorrow as usual. Detective, I want you to check something else for me. Sending you the data now. There you are. I was looking for you, Svetlana. Can you search the archives for the tax office acts signed by Sternyakov? I can do it. I'm busy. I'm making Alex tea. Sure, sure. But it's very urgent. I will even uh, tell you where they are. You don't need to tell me anything. I know everything. I'll get them now. Thank you. Here you go. Please. You're fast. Are you sick? Yes, a bit sick. <laughs> did the boss ask about me? No, he didn't. Fine. I'll come by later. Thanks, you bailed me out. Take a look at it. It's very important. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Svetlana, I'll take a look later. Fine. Vlad, are you at the office? I'm looking where else you could take a dump. You mongrel, don't go anywhere. We're having a meeting at lunchtime. I'll tell everyone you're fired. Go away! Go away! Why are you looking at me? Go away, I told you! Go away! Why are you looking at me? What happened? Did it start again? It's worse than usual. I can hear it. So what should we do? He lost his marbles big time. We're gonna save him. From himself. But how? He can injure himself. What are you waiting for? Call an ambulance. I'll do it myself. Yeah. Looks like you don't have any other choice, Svetlana. Oleg's becoming a danger to society. Hello, 911? We have a man down here, I don't know what is it, but he becomes terribly aggressive, throws heavy objects at people, screams, and it happens to him abruptly, suddenly.
He was He's gone. been taken to you. Get ready to enter the game. Serious. Yes, hello. Yes, I've sent you a copy of the documents and an application. I want to mortgage my share of an apartment. How much can you give me, at least approximately? If it is approved, then it's 10,000 in conventional currency at the most. Why so little? Nobody will give you more, believe me. Fine. This money won't be enough for anything. I won't be able to buy the other part of the apartment. Goodbye. Have a nice day. I'm so worried about Daddy. When he'll be back home? I don't know. I want... I want to go to his hospital. It's not a place for you. Why so? Because it's not. Why? Because... Because I said so. I'll tell everything to Dad when he'll get back. Yes. What's this? What have you done? Well, lady, inspect the works. Why did you disassemble the boiler? Why are you worried? I disassembled the guts for maintenance. It was acting up. What did you know? How should I know? I'm not a gas man. Why are you getting into it if you don't understand how it works? You had to call a professional. I had to, but the professional will leave and our here boiler will break down. <laughs> I get it. You're leaving here. Aren't you going to freeze? No, I won't freeze. I'll turn on the electric heater, and you should follow my lead. We'll go broke on bills. Not me, but you will. I won't pay for electricity. You'll have to do it on your own, but you have options. If I'll sell my share for the third of the value, I won't be able to buy anything in the city, not even a room. So buy out my share? Forty grand? I don't have that kind of money. Think? Do you think I'm motivating you for nothing? Diana. We need to talk urgently. You love this part of the job. Well, me and Kirillo have news for you. I looked at the recent images. We've tried. But Kirillo will show everything himself, right? Mom? Yes, my dear. Dad? Come on, be bolder. Kirillo. Come on, Kirillo. Kirillo, my dear. Well done. Take it easy. Come here. Your son will be fine. The bruising dissolved just as I thought and will discharge him soon, but the rehabilitation... Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you. He'll need to go through the rehabilitation, of course. Well done. My boys.
happy. Drink. Easy. We have good news. Kirill is getting better. Thanks God, I'm happy for you. Svetlanka, please forgive me. I don't know how to fix it. I understand you. We were asked to prepare this. We had to discuss everything calmly and make a right decision. I don't know. Yes, I made a mistake. But understand that I was in a daze at that moment. I only had one thought. How can I save Kirillo? These are the money that I got from my share of the apartment. We spent some, but you can buy back my share from Yanev. Diana, he's a conman. He wants twice the amount he paid you. Understand? And the bank can give me only 10,000 from the mortgaging my share. It won't be enough for anything. But I'll try to handle it myself. I won't take money from you because you'll need to go through rehabilitation. I get it. I don't know. If you want, take the baby, move to our place. And leave the whole apartment to him. We won't get back then. My God, what have I done? You turned out to be such a fighter. Also, I'm quitting my job. Why? It doesn't matter. And what about your boss? The boss got married and... got very sick. I'm worried about him. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. Consider this unofficial. Just a talk between two friends. Oleg was developing a merger plan between us and Ahotsky. You know about it. Forgive me, are you serious about it? I have no time for jokes, I'm serious. Oleg wanted you to handle this business. You have a daughter. And she has a mortgage, if I'm not mistaken. If you're going to handle it and do everything right, you're going to fix your daughter's financial problems and be satisfied with yourself. I'm not even going to discuss it. You know well how many companies were taken over through mergers like these. It's very unsafe. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And while Oleg is absent, we're the loyal servants guarding his company. It's just Irina. She doesn't understand much. And I'm worried. She can be given anything to sign, and then she might just do it. I see that as my primary task. To see that anything like that won't happen. Exactly. I'm happy that we understood each other. Then I'll see you tomorrow at the meeting. By the way, it will be held by Irina. Her first meeting had her new position, so please get her up to speed. She'll have a lot of questions. And I hope our talk will stay between us. Help 
me. Alive. Following your heart. No way. A statement from the bug. May I? Yes, come in. Before we get down to our ongoing business, I'd like to inform all of you that I'll manage the company while Oleg is being treated. I have all the formal authority for that. Yesterday, I visited my husband. Unfortunately, his condition is still serious. Looks like he's gonna need a prolonged treatment. I wish him a speedy recovery. You know, we miss him a lot. Thank you. I'll definitely tell him. Well, let's get down to business. Um, what's important right now? We have to discuss the possibility of merger between ours and the Husky companies and decide the timeline. A merger? Yes, a merger. Oleg was developing this plan for a long time. You know it well. Yes, he wanted to look at the partnership options at first, but then he decided that company must expand. He had an agreement with Hotsky to do it in a week at the longest. We have to sign the merger. Hmm. What are the lawyers saying? By the way, where's our head lawyer? Well, it was developed by the legal department. Head lawyer approved the merger. He's not with us right now. He had a serious accident. He passed a memo that approved the merger and wrote up everything in detail. Thank you. I'll study it. What else is on our schedule? Well, we would like to give you the last week's financial reports. Thanks. Vladislav, how's Oleg? How is he? Still the same. And Lera? How is she? You're her friend. Ask her. Yes. Svetlana? Yeah. I found your statement in Oleg's safe. Um, I won't quit now. I will take it back. Oh, yeah? That's a shame. Because I've signed it, and you're fired. You don't work here from this moment on. Hello. How are you? Not that good. Do you know when Dad will get back home? Unfortunately, I don't. Let's go. I wanted to visit Dad so much, but Ira started screaming at me. Now she screams at me often, and she almost doesn't talk to me. I'm home with the nanny all the time. You'll have to be patient before your dad gets better. But he'll definitely return home. Everything will be fine. You promise? Yeah. Let me ask the nanny to drive me to your place after school to you, to dad's work. Will you make me a hot chocolate there? I won't be able to, because I quit. You quit? Dad will come back and you won't be there. You abandoned him. I never abandoned him, and never will. Really? You promise? I promise. Besides, your dad has a true friend back at work, Vlad. 
I don't like Uncle Vlad. I'm afraid of him, to be honest. You're afraid? Remember when you told me when you don't like it when someone comes to your home from work because your dad starts screaming? You meant Vlad? Yeah. And by screaming you meant his attacks? Yes. What does it all mean? Sorry, we have to go. Come on, Lera. Of course. Bye. Goodbye. Hello. I want to double the price. You will bring me same amount as the last time tomorrow morning. You got me. Your boss will stay here for a long time. I want more, Vlad. Thank you. Come on, tell me. What's with you? Remember that good man I've told you about, with health problems. Yes, your boss? The one with the text, yeah. <laughs> well, I have scored the internet, read all the data on different sites, but I understood nothing. I'm not good at all this. Maybe you'll tell me something. Well, he was taken to a mental hospital and looks like it's for a long time. What else can you say? I pity the dude. I remembered one thing that can be connected to what happened to him. Well, here you go. Please. You're so quick. Are you sick? A bit, yeah. Yeah. drank the tea from the cup and suddenly became aggressive. Get it? Go away! Why are you looking at me? Go away, I told you! Go away! Why are you looking at me? Maybe Vlad adds something to the tea? Can something like this happen? Because Lyra, Alex's daughter, said that when Vlad visits them, Alex suddenly becomes aggressive after he leaves. He has these attacks. I thought maybe everything's connected. What do you say? Well, I know at least 10 powerful psychotropic drugs that cause clinical symptoms like those. Listen, your boss, he's loaded, yeah? So? Okay. Is it possible that he was sent to the asylum to get to his money? Or, for example, take over his company? I don't know. If that's so, I... I have to help him. Svetlana, and how would that go? Huh? Leave it. You have your own problem through the roof. Call the police, they'll help you. I can't leave it. He saved me. And I'm an adept to him. I'm asking you, help me. Okay, Svetlana, I'll help you. First, we'll follow Vlad. Yeah? Okay. Either you imagine it, or he is really a criminal. Thank you. Let's go. Here you go. Okay. Today it's a fat one. No more money scams, got it? I'm already overpaying. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Turn around. We'll follow that car. A 
psychiatry clinic. Everything is clear. This man is conspiring with Vlad. I don't know. What if it's just a coincidence? For example, Vlad returned a debt in the envelope. I don't know. Too many coincidences. Wait, Svetlana, let's think. If Oleg is being held here against his will, then he continues to be poisoned with those drugs. For him to stay delusional, right? If only we had a way to know. We need hard evidence. Did you forget where I'm studying? I know that the asylum is chronically understaffed. And it looks like I've found another side job. And the paperwork isn't hard to get. I was sent to you from the medical university for an internship. That's good. You'll follow the instructions precisely. Here's the general ward, and there's the neurosis ward for mentally disabled. And where are the violent ones? Violent ones? Yeah. Right here. We've got a serious businessman. But he's very sick. Hey, 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 you can't go there. Sergei handles him himself. He knows how to calm him down. Here, take a medical instrument. You'll need it. Oleg Romashevsky, born 1983. That's what I told you. Any color suits me. And you're a lifetime blonde. Ira! No other options. How can you be so happy? Dad's alone in a hospital and you're laughing. Katya, I'll call you back. So what? You don't care. That's what. Do you think I should be crying all the time? Off to school. You'll go with the nanny. I have business at the office. And show your character somewhere else. And you'll laugh somewhere else. Hello. Hello, Svetlana. So what? Did you find something out? Yes, and it's very serious. Tell me. Okay. There are traces of a powerful psychotropic drug in Oleg's blood. It has a fast elimination period. It's completely gone from the blood in five or six hours. By the way, the overdose of the drug causes hallucination, vascular spasms, uncontrolled violence outbursts. Get it? How do you know that? I took Oleg's blood for analysis. Maybe two hours after he experienced another attack after yesterday's drug intake. By the way, do you know who Oleg's doctor is? Who? Huh. Sergei, the same one that Vlad met. You're kidding. Yeah. Damn. That means we need to save him. What do you think? Will the police believe us? Honestly, I don't think that we can prove that this is Oleg's blood work. Damn. And we don't have time. I don't know how long he'll last with that treatment. Hell, we need to get him out quick. What do you think? Is that possible? We can try. I've seen something there. 
Well, I've got a plan. Get in the car, quick. I have looked at the paperwork about the merger of our and Ochotsky companies. You say that his is Oleg's idea. Absolutely. It's his new business strategy that he developed on his own from start to finish. Sure, this can be a new development strategy. It's just a merger is a delicate thing. Maybe we don't know something. Oleg always thinks about the big picture. Well, okay. Ladislav, prepare all the paperwork. I will sign it. Of course. I'll prepare everything. We'll go through with the merger. Let's get to the other questions. Who are you? Everything's fine. Why? Easy, easy. Everything's fine. You don't have to. You don't have to. That's one, and that's two. Yes. Where am I? You're at Denny's country house. Hello. Do I have to know you too? Maybe, if you can remember. Denis is my neighbor and my childhood friend. Why am I here? We... We kidnapped you from the mental hospital because we thought that you were there against your will. <laughs> Svetlana, why? Why did you do this? I belong there. You know well that I'm sick. I want to be cured. Get me back. Wait, please, calm down. I'll explain everything to you. Your attacks were caused by the effects of the drugs what Vlad was adding to your tea. I saw it with my own eyes, and I paid no attention to it at first. 
Vlad is involved in this. Of course he involved. Sveta started having suspicions. She told everything to me, so we followed him. It turned out Vlad is connected with the doctor from the asylum, where he continued to poison you with the same drugs that Vlad used. We got the evidence and organized your rescue. Now it all fits. Okay, you should sleep. I promise you'll get much better, okay? Okay, Svetlana, I'll uh, go out for groceries. Okay. I'll be back soon. Where's the patient? Where's the patient? We just found it ourselves. I don't know. We've looked everywhere. I don't know how this could happen. If only someone helped him. Who helped him? Uh, that one, uh, the new guy. Denise, the intern. But how? Like that, he left the ward arbitrarily, drove out from the hospital in his own car, and he's not picking up the phone. And I think that he could have helped Romashevsky escape. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, if he's from the medical university, then the deanery will tell me his address. Denise... What's his last name? Um, Simonov. But, Sergei, I checked his internship appointment. It's fake. So he's probably not a university student. Don't tell anything to anyone. I'll fix it myself. Are you awake? I brought some water for you to drink. Okay. And where's your mom? At the kitchen. She's cooking with Denise. Give me the water. Thanks, Dasha. I am so sorry for you. You were so happy at the ice rink. Just like mom. And now she is sad. She even cried this night. She cried? Yes. Why? Because a bad uncle bought on Diana's room, and now he lives with us. She never told me about it. Also, he said that our apartment is a tangerine. Hmm. Svetlana, do you have problems at home? Did Dasha tell you? Dasha, fetch some more water, please. Come on, chop chop. I handle it myself and it's fine. You don't need to think about it now. That's right. Oleg, you were incarcerated in a mental hospital on purpose. Do you know why? I figured it out. I need a phone with internet access. I need to sync my contacts with the cloud. Okay, I'll get mine. Svetlana, I... I'll never forget what you've done for me. You're wonderful. Somewhere in my heart, I always knew it, and now I fully realize it. The phone? So? The deal will take place tomorrow at 10 a.m. Is the paperwork ready? Yes, here it is. My lawyers prepare a correct version of the contract. A leg basically will be left with nothing. Are we really gonna do it? We've already done it. Vlad. And tomorrow. 
Tomorrow we'll put an end to this play. Yermashev? Yes? This is Oleg Romashevsky. I'm calling from somebody else's number. Happy to hear you. I was looking for you. Did you find out what I asked for? Of course. Then we need to meet. At our place in our... Will you manage? I will. I had to dig very deep, but the information was worth it. You're a real pro. I'll definitely get in touch. I transferred the money as usual. So what? Are we going? Just a minute. Fomin? Oleg Romashevsky. Yes, Asha, it has been ages. I need help in your field. Oleg! 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 I'll go with you. No. Yes. I'm a key witness. It can be dangerous. Wait. I promised Liara that I'll never abandon you. Fine. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Let's sign it. Let's do it. I hope I'm turning a new page of my life. <laughs> Congratulations. Happy merger. Hooray! Hands on the table! Everybody stay put! Stay in the chair. Hands! You're celebrating early. My signature is not in the contract, and it won't be there. And the power of its own issue to Arena was revoked yesterday. You don't have the authority. Oleg, did you recover? I'm so happy. Really? Yes. That's great. And what about your daddy and your stepbrother? Are they happy too? What do you mean? What do I mean? Well, it's who do I mean? You told me you never knew your father. Yes, really. The column father is empty in your birth certificate. But you lied to me. You're a liar. Because your father... ...is Achotsky. He left your mother before you were born. You never heard about him until you were 10. And suddenly he comes into your life miraculously alive after the collapse of a building he built. I don't know. Maybe he experienced shock, rethought something. I don't know. I know only one thing. He had no other biological children, and he started talking with you. With you and Vlad, in whom he suddenly saw his own son. And then he introduced you to each other. Daughter and son. What does it give to you? Understanding. You're in this photo. The real you. And here is a pathetic fake of my deceased wife, Vika. I don't know, maybe you'll fit the type, but nothing else. Vlad told you about the tragedy in my family. And then you came up with everything. What do we have? Oleg is broken and depressed. He can't get over the death of his wife. And he's vulnerable and weak. Now is the time to use it. Only question is how. We will take everything from him. I know how. What do you know? It's not possible. Listen to me, that's... Calm down. That nonsense. I said calm down. So? 
Zutter, tell me what you came up with. Vlad leaked the company data to Ochotsky. Small orders were fine, but not for you. You wanted more. Your plan almost worked. You thought through all the details. Even the perfume. Behavior. I married you because I subconsciously saw Vika in you. And today you wanted to take everything from me. Kick me and my daughter out on the street, but you'll get nothing. Nothing. I forced myself to be your wife for such a long time. I hate you. Do you hear me? Hate you. Why? I did nothing wrong to your family. Or you. Who helped you? We fully control your circle. Was that you? You push slack, moth. That's it. I'm investigator Fumin. You're all under arrest for creating a crime ring. For an attempt on life in order to seize personal property. You won't be able to prove anything. We already did. Your accomplice from the mental hospital was apprehended yesterday. And he gave all of you up. Everybody freeze! Sergei Zvyagintsev. Yes. Investigator Fomin. You're under arrest. Hands. Listen, if I tell you everything, will it count as a confession? We'll see. Out. Come on. I told you that your classmate is not dependable. A lawyer that was beaten by your goons regained consciousness. And he told how you wanted to recruit him. Back them up. Hands off. Quiet. Come on. Hands. It's like I've seen the light. Thanks for everything. I just wanted to help. Lara. Dead? I missed you so much. Ira told me yesterday that you left me for good. And that she doesn't love me and never did. Don't worry. Ira won't be a part of our life anymore. She turned out to be an evil and mean fraud. And remember, I'll never abandon you. Really? But who saved you? An amazing and reckless woman. Our mutual friend. I know one like that. You know, right. I'm coming, I'm coming. So, what do you need? If you want my neighbor, she's not home. I know that. 
I am the owner of the company where Svetlana worked until recently. And these are my employees. I'd like to make a deal with you. And? You're selling your share of the apartment to me. And you're selling for the same amount you bought it for. And then we part our ways. Think that you pulled out your investment with zero losses, and this apartment stops being your tangerine. What do you see? What do I see? I'll get double the price for my share of the apartment. Either from you or her, I don't give a crap. I see you don't understand the depth of the problems you're about to experience. Wait, are you... Are you threatening me? Fine. The boys are on their way here right now, and if they think that you're acting a fool, they'll start to explain to you as neighbors how wrong you are, and they'll keep doing that until you agree to my terms. I'm counting to three, and after that the apartment starts to fall in price. You drive a hard bargain. It is not the full amount. It is. Well, minus the cost of appliances you broke. I forgot how good it is at home. Dad. Mom. Forgive me. Kirilla, we are happy that you are home and that everything ended well. But me and Dad are hoping that you made the right conclusions from this situation. Want to hear a saying from my youth? So? Friendship lasts till you see a policeman. So keep your head on your shoulders. I propose not to talk or remember about it in our family. And now we'll have a dinner. I made your favorites. I... I love you so much. Go wash your hands. Come on, you. Did you do everything? Did you forget something? Yes, I put it in my backpack. It's great that we are alone in our apartment. That's true. I even know who did it. Good morning. Me and Lera are going ice skating. Join us. We are going to the kindergarten. Kindergarten is cancelled today. Lera, take a walk with Dasha. Dasha, show me your yard. Dasha, your mom is so cool. How do you know that? We are friends, and she saved my dad. I think about you all the time. And I think about you. Something's wrong with us, right? Something's wrong. in 
in a tree kissing, sitting in a tree kissing, sitting in a tree kissing. <laughs>